Welcome to the Daily Mix. I am Angela Sharp. I hope you had a great weekend despite all the rain we had. It's a lot of rain. I kind of almost feel like we were living in Seattle. But despite all the rain, Bush Stadium was a go for all three of their games. And you know, Albert Pujols made his return the first time since he played in the World Series. He plays for the Angels now, so this was his first time back. And you know, it's been enough time that people kind of got over their bitterness. And the very first time he took the plate, it was like a three minute standing ovation. And what I love most about it was Yadi kind of came out from the catcher's spot. He walked to the front. Otherwise, you know, time would have still went on. He kind of faced um, Albert and then they kind of had a hug and it was super cute. Every time Albert came to bat though, Cardinals fans showed their appreciation for him, which was nice. And actually, he actually hit a home run. And when he did so, he got a standing ovation and fans requested a curtain call. So you definitely can tell that the fans still love Albert and want to show him their love. Actually, Mike Trout told Albert that every every hit, every play was like being in the postseason. And Albert said he played there for many years. He knows. So that's pretty cool. Now, are you trying to plan the perfect getaway? How about the Bell? It's a Taco Bell hotel. I'm not kidding. The fast food giant has transformed a Palm Strings California hotel into a taco themed paradise with every aspect designed to invoke the Taco Bell brand and lifestyle. The resort features Taco Bell branding throughout the 70 guest rooms, pool and outdoor bar. The standard amenities even have a Taco Bell twist. Now, if this sounds like something that would satisfy your vacation cravings, be ready to act fast. The Taco Bell Hotel will only be open for four nights. The first check-in begins August 8th and the final checkout will be August 12th. There's no minimum night stay, so you can come from just one night if you like. You can make your reservations beginning this Thursday, June 27th at noon at TacoBell.com. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not a huge Taco Bell fan, like maybe if I'm hungry really late at night, but if Taco Bell is your thing, you need to check it out. Now, if you're wondering about this giant popcorn behind me, that's not it. I have this whole table of goodies over here to my left. Richard Cool from the St. Louis Snow Cone will be here telling us everything they do. They do s'mores and then just snow cone. See what I did there? They're going to tell you how they can help your corporate event and tell you about some parties that are coming up. So keep it right here and let's get started on today's Daily Mix. National Pride Month. Tower Grove Pride is celebrating the LGBTQIA community this weekend at their annual Tower Grove Pride event. There will be over 150 vendors, local bands and entertainment, drag, games, picnic areas, and tons of other enjoyable activities. This is a family-friendly and pet-friendly event. Get in the spirit and join the excitement at this year's Tower Grove Pride Festival. The event takes place this Saturday, June 29th from 1130 to 7 at Tower Grove Park. For more details, visit TowerGrovePride.com. Now, do you want to make a significant difference in the St. Louis community? The St. Louis Public Schools is hosting the SLPS Interview Day for people interested in openings for the new school year. Positions include nurses, custodians, instructional care aides, early childhood teaching aides, child care attendants, and more. This can be your chance to make a difference. The SLPS Interview Day is happening this Friday, June 28th from 9 to 12. For more information on how to register or apply, visit slps.org slash jobs. And Steinberg Skating Rink in Forest Park is, you know, known for winter fun. But what if the space could provide entertainment all year long? Forest Park Forever and the City of the St. Louis Parks Department and REC want to have that. They're partnered up to find possible ways that they can build ground to make it open all year long. But they need your help. They're looking for input on how the community might enjoy visiting Steinberg all four seasons. There are five opportunities this week to share your input and ideas. You can make your voice heard this Monday, the 24th from one to seven at O'Fallon Rec Center, Tuesday from one to four or six to eight at Wool Rec Center, and Wednesday from nine to 11 
or 5.30 to 7.30 at Crondelet Rec Center. For more information, visit stlouis-mo.gov. And with sw swimming season upon us, there is another way you can help the Division of Recreation. They're asking for new or gently used swim trunks and swimsuits for youth and adults, as well as books and magazine items that can be dropped off at the Forest Park office on Clayton Avenue or at your nearest recreational center. For more information, you can call 314-289-5300. Now you can mark the United Nations International Day of Support of Victims of Torture that's happening this Wednesday at the Missouri History Museum. Marie Christine Williams, the author of The Dark Side of the Human Nature, will be sharing her powerful story of being a survivor of the 1994 Rwanda genocide. She lost her entire family at the age of 14 and now lives in St. Louis and shares her story of survival and triumph all over the world. Triumph Over Darkness will take place at the Missouri History Museum this Wednesday, June 26th, with an opening reception at 6.30. The event is free and open to the public. You can learn more at triumphoverdarkness.com. Families in the Third Ward recently enjoyed a fun day full of fishing, playing, eating, and just coming together as a community. And it was all kicked off with a camp out in Hyde Park. Rihanna Ray met up with Alderman Brandon Bosley, the brainchild of the annual Father and Son Camping and Fishing Derby, to find out what it's all about. Exactly going on here today. So it's father and son camping in the park, and of course we have young ladies out here also. But last night, uh, fathers and sons and mentors throughout the community and individuals who are influential within the city came out. And uh, we spent the night with the young men. I'm sorry, did you say that we went camping in the city? Yes, ma'am. We went camping in St. Louis City in Hyde Park. Some people would say that's an oxymoron. That's just never going to happen. Yeah. How did you make that happen? Uh, just working with all the right departments. You know, it always it all comes down to teamwork. And uh, we have an amazing, amazing group of individuals who are dedicated. And then you have certain city departments that are dedicated uh, to giving our city children and residents different experiences. So, you know, we all kind of work together to make it happen. All right. We did camping out last night with Dad. That's right. And I hear a lot of happy voices in the background. What is going on back there? Uh, we are fishing right now. Every single child here, um, especially those individuals who've never fished before, this is the first time fishing, everybody caught a fish. And what? Yes, ma'am. We stocked the, the lake up yesterday. We got over about 300 to 500 fish in right now. Um, it's enough for anybody to catch a fish. All you got to do is, you know, be taught how to throw that line out there. There was so much going on that day. Bounce houses, a Clyde sale, giveaways and more. You can catch all the highlights right here on SCL TV. Father and son bonding, camping and fishing in Hyde Park. It's also available anytime on SCL TV's YouTube channel. Now, a rare blue lobster was welcomed to his new home at St. Louis Union Station on Friday. The colorful crustacean was caught in the Atlantic and delivered to Arnold's Lobster and Clam Bar on Cape Cod. But rather than cook it, the owners reached out to the St. Louis Aquarium. Even though they're Bruins fans, they were moved to donate the lobster they nicknamed Little Blue to St. Louis in honor of the Blues' Stanley Cup victory. And this lobster is extremely rare. Only one in every two million have this mutation. You'll be able to see Little Blue at the aquarium when it opens later this year. You can stay up to date with Little Blue and the aquarium's progress on social media and at stlouisaquarium.com. And in the spirit of good sportsmanship, as Little Blue was making its way to St. Louis, a special delivery was headed to Boston. St. Louis Children's Hospital sent 200 Build-A-Bear workshop bears to Boston's Children's Hospital, and each plushie came with a tag saying, Bear Hugs from St. Louis, thanks for the fun in the Stanley Cup Final. The project actually started before the finals even started. St. Louis Children's teamed up with Build-A-Bear, who donated the bears and plans to send them to children at Boston's Children's and other satellite locations, win or lose. Now that's something sure to bring a smile to your face, no matter who you're rooting for. After last week's massive Stanley Cup celebration, the Blues headed to Las Vegas, where the team was recognized for their historic win at the 2019 NHL Awards. Joining Biddington led the way on the stage carrying the cup. He and O'Reilly, Coach Burberry, and GM Doug Armstrong were all finalists 
for some of the regular season awards. O'Reilly's trophy collection grew again when he was awarded the Selk Trophy, which is given each year to the NHL's best defensive forward. Bennington finished second for the Calder Trophy, which is given to the league's Rookie of the Year, but he was named Bridgestone's clutch performance in the playoffs. He was also named to the NHL All-Star Rookie Team following the awards. He's the first player to make the all-rookie team since Perego did it in 15-16 season. He's also only the second Blues goaltender to earn that honor. Get this, Jake Allen, he earned it twice in 12 and 14. But they weren't the only ones to take home the honors that night. Barkley, the Blues service dog in training, won the Fan Choice Award for NHL Best Team Dog. It really seems like every team has a dog now. Um, he beat the Rangers dog. Um, and he also beat the one from Ottawa. But everybody now is getting dogs, so this coming season, the Sharks are gonna have a dog too. Everybody's got a dog. And they aren't done just yet. The Blues will honor the Levy Stone Award this weekend at the first ever Show Me Downtown, an evening in blue. The event will celebrate all of the amazing growth and development in downtown St. Louis. Over the past year, there'll be a special performance by the voice finalist, Kennedy Holmes, and local blues sensation, Little Dylan, as well as live music with a twist sung by DJ Noon. There will be plenty of food and drinks to choose from, live painting, airbrush tattoo artists, the award and presentation, and more. It promises to be a fun night that will leave you inspired. And it's an evening in blue, so of course you can expect to find plenty of NHL players, the Blue Crew, and Louie. So grab your favorite blues gear or your best blue work attire and head on night to the Stifle Theater downtown this Thursday, June 27th from 5 to 9. For more information, visit downtownstl.org. Now, did you love bounce houses as a kid? Here's the perfect event for you so you can relive your childhood with family and friends. The Great Inflatable Race is a giant inflatable obstacle course race. It's coming to St. Louis this weekend for all ages to enjoy. They are calling this the wackiest, craziest, and bounciest event in the city. The goal of the event is to bring people together and to have fun and encourage social change in communities. Jump in the fun this Saturday, June 29th, from 9 to 12 in Forest Park. For more exciting details, visit thegreatinflatablerace.com. Now, imagine waking up and you discover you're the only person in the planet who remembers the Beatles and all of their songs. That's exactly where Jack Milgi is the struggling singer-songwriter from England, finds himself after a mysterious global blackout. And it's the plot line of yesterday. I haven't seen the movie yet, but the, the trailer looks so good. Check out this trailer. Yesterday, Ellie bought you a present. All my troubles seem wow. so far away. Now it seems as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say. I said. Something wrong now I long for yesterday. Oh when did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? John Paul, George and Ringo, the Beatles. No. Stop it. Yesterday. It's one of the greatest songs ever written. Well, it's not Coldplay. It's not Fix You. I'm so excited. Yesterday hits theaters this Friday, June 28th. For more information, you can check out yesterdaymovie.com. I'm a huge Beatles fan, so I totally want to see that movie, and I'm so excited about it. 
Now, this is the magical part of the show where I have my guest join me. This is Richard Cool with St. Louis Snow Cone. I'm familiar with St. Louis Snow Cone as I hang out with you guys sometimes from time to time. But you guys do some more than snow cones, right? Yes. So, uh, like our name says, we're St. Louis Snow Cone. Obviously, snow cones is what we specialize in. But it's all carnival foods and dessert items, dessert bars, things like that. So any of the fun stuff that you're really not allowed to have or shouldn't have, that's what we specialize in. Uh, if you can't wait for the carnival to come to town or you can't, uh, can't necessarily get your hands on a funnel cake right now, that's what we're here for. This is what I love. And, and you know, sometimes people think of kids when they think of snow, snow cones and like some of the other stuff you have on the table. But this is for kids at heart like me. When they brought this stuff in today, I was so pumped. So this is for like kids like me, right? Yeah, well, if you're young at heart or you're just, uh, you know, you haven't quite grown up yet and things like that. That's uh, everybody is, you know, everybody's a little kid. Everybody loves snow cones. I've never seen anybody turn down snow cones or cotton candy or candy of any kind, really. <laughs> right, no, that's lot, the thing. Yeah, most of our work is corporate. We go to a lot of businesses around the St. Louis area. It's employee appreciation, uh, open houses, things like that, where you're trying to just, make it a better work environment for people. Have fun on the job kind of thing. I can see this, especially if your business is um, very button up, very, you know, kind yeah. of, you know, very professional, very suit and tie. Why not bring in St. Louis Snow Cone and have you guys kind of make it party? Cause that relaxes everybody a bit yeah. and it helps, you know, you meet people in other departments, I'm sure. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing is getting people to talk to each other. That's a huge deal, especially with meetings. If you have, you're a company and you have a lot of meetings or there's presentations, the best way to break the ice is to give somebody something to do. Give them a common, a common thing, a thread yeah. for them to have, take part in. Everybody uh, kind of drops their guard when they're talking about snow cones or cotton candy. If you can give them a shared experience, then they loosen up and everybody gets to know each other and they start talking and then suddenly you forget that you're at work. Yeah, I love that. Now, you know, snow cones are kind of in your title, but I do know you guys have some really cool flavors of snow cones. So what would yeah. you say is your most interesting snow cone flavor? So we actually, to go along with s'mores, we actually have a s'more snow oh. cone. We have horchata, wedding cake, chocolate brownie. We have a whole mixed drink menu. So especially at work, you're not allowed to drink on the job or you shouldn't be. Uh, at least most people shouldn't be. Um, so we have a mixed to drink menu. So there's Bahama Mama and Blue Hawaiian, Tom Collins, right. Margarita, that kind of thing. That's awesome. Well, let's talk about some of the stuff that sure. you brought here with us because, like I said, you do s'mores <laughs> than that. So I, I take it this is the s'mores kit? This is a s'mores kit. This is something that we can either bring or deliver or you can have it delivered to someone else. Everyone likes to get to Oh, how nice would that be? Yeah. If that just showed up at your house. Yeah, it shows up at your house or your workplace and then bam, you can have s'mores this afternoon. <laughs> we do candy buffets, popcorn, cotton candy, ice cream novelties, and we have a Sunday bar along with a variety of other dessert bars. So uh, you get a scoop of ice cream and then add all your toppings, like you go to the Fro-Yo joint and you add all that fun stuff. We can do the same with Gus's pretzels. Oh, look at that photo of the candy there bar you, you got go. up there. That's yes. a dream right there. Yeah, a lot of candy buffets. That's our donut bar. We also oh, there's have a donut a, bar a too. Donut bar, donuts, uh, caramel apples, um, all kinds, of, and along with the funnel cakes, I think that's funnel cakes. Yeah, it looks like We have all cakes. kinds of fun toppings for the funnel cakes. Wait, you can put you, something else on funnel cakes other than just powdered sugar? Fruit, oh. M&M's, gummy bears, all that kind of stuff. I love it. And then you've got? A pie bar. We also have uh, mini pies. So you would get yourself Wait, a mini pie. Is, we have a variety of flavors. There's the s'mores There's the s'mores. Right so this there. is basically any kind of desserty, candy, fun item. Yes. You guys kind of have the ability to come and bring it to my work or whatever and set it up. Yes. I love <laughs> this so much. We got to talk about, you showed me this when you got here. This yes. one right here. This one, I don't know if I'll be able to get there off. Yes, go. okay. <laughs> so this cotton candy, I don't know if you can see it. I'm a huge glitter fan, but this cotton candy has glitter on it. Can I eat this glitter? Yes. It's edible glitter. Edible glitter. I didn't know there was a thing, but I'm super pumped about it because I love, <laughs> My nickname's Glitter Girl, 
and I love everything glitter. So I would assume this glitter is super popular, especially with yes. the kids. Oh yeah, we do a lot of the edible glitter. It's an add-on, it's a fun thing for bar mitzvahs or birthday parties, anything that you can make. You can take cotton candy and make it more than what people are expecting. That's the thing. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah you, gotta... you have another one that's blinking over yes, there. Yeah, we have, uh, you can put it on a light up stick. I know it's very hard to see. It is hard to see because of our TV lights, but yes. this stick right here, you probably can't see, but it is, it's blinking different colors. Like it's like red and blue and green. And so it's blinking. So that would be really cool, yeah. especially if you weren't underneath the TV lights and you could <laughs> see it like lighting up for you like that. So yep. I bet that's super popular too. That is too, yeah. Especially when you're at a party and people are dancing and it's darker, that's a really a big hit. Oh, for sure. Now, could you guys come to weddings instead yeah. of doing like your traditional wedding cake thing, you guys could bring cotton candy or something? We've been getting a lot of requests for the cotton candy bouquets. <gasps> Brides are always trying to set themselves apart. Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry, I got really excited. I don't have a man in my life, but if I did, that's what I would do. There you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's hip, it's cool, it's on Pinterest, and, and you got to see it there, and then you get your count. That would be so cool. Yes. Oh, I love this. There's so much going on, but I want to make sure we have enough time to talk about sure. it. Um, you guys have some events coming up where people we can do. come out and, you know, maybe check out some of what you got going on, right? Yeah. So first off, this Wednesday is uh, start kicks off the 10th annual Movies on the Plaza in the Central West End. They're showing Crazy Rich Asians. Uh, movie starts at 730. There's also usually trivia and other activities. And you're going to have free popcorn Free there. popcorn. That's what I'm Ooh, there for. Ooh, that's going to be cool. And then we do that uh, every last Wednesday and every month, June, July, and August. Awesome, and then there's another event coming up too, yeah, right? Yeah, this weekend is the Mackland Mile on Mackland Avenue. We'll be there and everyone who participates gets a free snow cone at the end of the race. Oh, wow! <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, we got to, on the 4th of July coming up is the Central West End Family Parade. We'll be there with uh, snow cones and popcorn. That is awesome, and Cotton Candy it says there too. So yes. you guys can come, you guys can kind of come scope them out and then you can hire them for your wedding or your corporate event or something cool like that. I love it. I don't feel like we had nearly enough time to talk about all the cool stuff that you guys do. So how can somebody follow you guys and get more information? Uh, across all of our uh, social media, we're STL Snow Cone. They can also check out our website, which is uh, stlsnowcone.com and uh, follow us there. Yep, all your information's right there on your screen. You gotta check them out. I, like I said, I've worked with them in the past. Awesomely nice people, and plus they've got a lot more than we even talked about today. Richard, thank you so much for joining me on today's show. You guys, make sure you check us out on our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and you can always drop us a line at the Daily Mix at stltv.net. We wanna hear from you. That's gonna do it for the Daily Mix, but keep it right here on STL TV and Experience St. Louis.